Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to be covering three topics. Uh, first of all, we are going to look, look at how we are going to trigger some abilities on a specific frame of the animation. Next we are going to see how you can block your abilities or cancel abilities while one ability is active. And lastly we are going to look at how to use your ability levels inside of your gameplay ability system. So first of all, what we are going to do is open up our GA Makeway uh, ability. And I'm actually going to trigger this ability on a certain frame of the animation. And for this, first I'm going to do is from activate ability, I'm going to say play montage and wait. And after this, while the animation is playing, I'm going to say wait gameplay event. Now remember, this is uh, this will be a parallel execution while the animation is playing is going to execute instantly. Okay, and for this event, I'm going to use a tag. I'm going to actually create a new tag character dot ability dot make way dot trigger event. Okay, add this new tag and I'm going to um, use this event received and plug this in over here. Okay, and for the animation, what I'm going to do is navigate to our Paragon Greystone animations folder. I'm going to use this. Ability E animation. Just right click on this and select create and montage. Okay. I have one created and I have also placed an anim notifier over here. Just right click over here and add notifier, new notifier. And I want to trigger the animation right about here. I'm going to place my notifier over here and then open my blueprint. And over here I'm going to search for notifier and it's called ability make way okay and from here i'm going to drag out and say cast to bp underscore player character okay and from here i'm going to say send gameplay event to actor and for the events i'm going to use the same tag that i used in my ability this trigger event okay compile and save this Save this as well and plug this in over here. Okay, now what you should see, and let's just slow this down so it's more visible effect. Uh, okay, and now when I press my um, ability key, you'll see my ability is triggered as soon as and that animation frame is hit by the animation and my ability is working. On the very specific frame of the animation, this one. Okay, so this is the way how you make your animations abilities activate on specific frame of the animations. You just create a weight gameplay event node inside of your gameplay ability and set it, give it a tag for the event. And in your animation blueprint or the animation, you create a notifier to send that gameplay event to this actor. Okay, and next, what we're going to do is I actually want to. Uh, make this ability block my melee ability. So if you see now that once I activate my ability, I can still do my melee ability over here. I do not want this to happen while my make way ability is activated. So what I'm going to do is go to GM make way and set set this block abilities with tag. And for this, I'm going to actually block my health regen and melee ability, both of these. Okay, so while this ability is active, these both abilities will be blocked from activation. Compile and save this. Now you'll see there is a little bit of problem with our combo system and this ability blocking. Okay, so I press the two key. I cast my make way ability and I'm trying to call and do my melee ability. I cannot do it. The ability is blocked. But even though my make way ability is finished, I still cannot uh, do my melee ability. This is because of the uh, where is it? Our combo system. So actually, our combo is triggered, but our reset combo is never called anywhere. So for this, what we're going to do is going back to GA, GA make a class, we call event on end ability. And over here, what I'm going to do is get character info. And from the player character, I'm going to say reset combo. Now this event will only fire once our ability has ended and so it will reset our combo if we have accidentally pressed our melee key 
during the make playability. So I cast my make playability and I'm trying to do my melee. I cannot do my melee. And as soon as the ability has ended, I can do my melee again. Okay. And now let's look at another example of uh, health regen. So what I want to do is actually cast this ability and this ability should actually cancel or interrupt or all the other abilities including melee or make query. Okay. So what I can do is set this cancel abilities with tag over here and I actually want all of these abilities to be interrupted by this health region ability. Now health region falls under this category but it's not going to be cancelled since it's not activated it won't be cancelled. But once this ability is activated all the abilities under this hierarchy are going to be cancelled. Okay, so I've done this and we're going to say face the same problem with the reset combo if you're going to try and do melee. So just copy this and paste it over here as well. We want to reset a combo on the end of this health regen ability. Now if you test this out, what you will see is that I'm playing my melee ability but as soon as I press my health regen key, my melee system is interrupted and I can no longer, uh, I instantly apply my health regen to the character. So this is a little bit about uh, blocking and cancelling your abilities. This is the way that you do this. All these activation only tag, require tags, lock it tags. Uh, you grant your uh, uh, ability system component some tags and you can decide whether you want to, whether some uh, ability should be activated if only if the owner has these tags and if these tags are required or they do not need to be present. Source and targets are like source is the Every system component that and this triggers this uh, ability and the target is that the target of the ability system uh, component that on which this ability acts. We will understand more about this in uh, when we create our functions in C++ that actually apply loose tags to our ability system component and after this we can decide which ability should be active or which ability should be blocked. Okay, and. Lastly, what I want to discuss is um, this ability level. So you see over here we have an input ability level. So for this, what you need to do is you need to create a data table inside of an external application like Excel or um, Google Sheets. Okay. So you see over here in my first row, I have my level from zero to five. For your game, you can have as many as you like and the attribute uh, gameplay effects that I'm going to modify with this uh, data table is melee cost, the health region effect and make way cost. Okay, I have this value for level 0, the melee is going to cost 50 stamina and for level 5, it's going to cost only 1 stamina. Okay, so open up your engine and in the content browser, what you can do is I'm going to create a new folder for this underscore data table. Okay. I'm just going to drag this over here to import this. And for this, import this as a curve table and choose a constant interpolation. You can use linear or any other if you like, but just make sure it's a curve table. Okay, so once this is imported, what you will see is that we have our melee cost, health region, and make quick cost. Okay, so first we're going to look at this melee cost and moving to our melee ability. I'm going to open this GE melee cost. What you see over here is costing us like uh, 30 stamina right now. What I'm going to do is right under this section, I'm going to select my curve table and select the row melee cost. And you see it's not uh, 50, it's rather it's like negative 1500. This is because this value is being multiplied that first value you know, in the melee cost row. I'm going to change this to negative 1. And if you preview this slider, you see at level 5 it's 1 and level 0 is negative 50. And if you go beyond like 5 level, you see just it's interpreting that value. Okay, so to test this out, I'm going to compile and save this. And what you should see is our malleability is being acquired at level 0. And if I do my malleability, I'm costing like 50 stamina. now. Okay. So I run out of cost, I cannot cast my ability again. But what you see is if I change the ability level to 5, compile and save this and test it out, what you see is that I'm costing like one stamina 
for each malleability activation. Okay, so this is the way that you use your ability levels. Another example that I want to give is for this um, health regen effect. So you open this GA health regen, and over here, what you see is we are using our class GE health regen effect. If I open this up, and you see that we are giving granting 30 health uh, on this ability activation. And for this, I'm going to use the same CSV curve table and set this row to health regen effect and change this multiplier to 1. And for level 0, I'm doing let's do this um, like uh, 3. Okay. So you see it's uh, like I'm giving 6 health at level 0 and 120 health at level 5. Let's save this. And But there's a problem with this that uh, at level 0 is going to grant us like 6 health. But even if I change this level to 5, it's going to stay around 6 health. And this just is, yep, it's granting us 6 health. This is because this health ability is at level 5, but this gameplay effect is being applied at level 1. So to fix this, what we do is just right click at get ability level. Okay, and just plug this over here. So now our ability is at level 5 and our health region is being applied at level 5. Okay, this gameplay effect is being applied at the ability level which is 5. So if we test it out now, yes, it's starting as 120 health on our ability activation. So basically this is the way how you implement your ability levels inside of your gameplay abilities and gameplay effects. And in the next video we are going to actually dive inside of C++ and create some more helper functions. For example, what you see over here right now is that once I cast my ability and my health is full, let me change the death table for this. Where is it? This one. Let's change our health initial health value to 200, which is the max value for our health. And even though my health is full, I can still cast my health regen ability and it's costing me mana. So we're going to apply some tags and implement some function that apply tags to gameplay ability system component and it's going to block activation of this ability so this is it for this video thank you very much